today I have this Craftsman 2 cycle 27 cc weed whacker it is the WS 2400 that I picked up uh, my other weed eater I had <laughs> disintegrated itself so I had to get another one um, this does have the uh, removable um, pieces, what they call that, attachments, and I have a bunch of these attachments, uh, weed eater with the blade, the hedge trimmer, the edger, so I'm hoping this will fit on these because the um, Husqvarna ones have their own proprietary attachments, so they won't work with all weed eaters, you know, all the different attachments they have. So I'm going to unbox this, get it out of the box, and let's see what we have to do to assemble this thing. So here we have everything out of the box. The weed eater, uh, a bag of goodies for the handle and the guard, and the trimmer head. So I am going to check the trimmer head here in just a second um, with one of my other trimmer heads that I have just to see if, if it will work with this uh, weed eater because I have a Troy built and uh, I had that thing many years and I bought a bunch of attachments for it so I'm hoping the attachments will work with this so I'll be right back so here I have my blade attachment and as you can tell it's beat I've cut a lot of things with that um, it plugs right into it. It looks like the uh, receiver part in here will coincide with the shaft because this is a square shaft and it has the square head for the shaft to go into. So um, let me get this thing assembled and um, see if the uh, blade will work and uh, we'll test out this trimmer head see what the deal is I've never held one of these that like auto feeds or anything like that mine have all I, I use a, a thicker line that doesn't want to feed when you hit the head you know you hit it on the ground I use the thicker line because a lot of little weeds and stuff that I trim with and cut with um, this thin line just wears out like super fast so I use like I think it's 0.1 or something like that I can't remember exactly the size, but I use a lot thicker line, and I've got a spool of that, um, I think it's ugly line, I think it's what it's called or something, and I use that in my stringer head because of the, you're constantly replacing this. Now, I used to use this thin line years ago, and a lot of little weeds and some of the thicker weeds have a, you know, harder uh, stem on them. And I would be beating on this thing pretty much all day. And next thing you know, I've used 10 feet out of this thing just from weed eating for a couple hours. And it got annoying, so I just started using a thicker line that will fit in the holes here on each side that comes out. As long as it fits in there and I can spool it up enough, um, I usually do my height with my arms up in the air, probably about 7, 8, maybe 10 feet. And I coil it up twice and then I run it through and fill the spool up so I can have plenty and then when I'm uh, weed eating and I, it wears out I usually just loosen this and pull some out myself manually put it back and then keep on going whereas the thinner line it seems like it doesn't last as long so I mean results vary because sometimes you know all this this is all you need whereas mine I do a lot of I have a lot of weeds that grow up in the back that I don't normally mow so they grow up, and I try to cut them back um, as much. And some of them are pretty thick, and it'll just eat this line up. So um, let's get this thing assembled. There's the bag of goodies. We will uh, assemble this, put the handle on, put the guard on this piece here, and we'll just see what happens. And a nut, and you can you can adjust this. Uh, handle you know if it's too far out too far for I just put it right here for just now 
Um, probably we'll need to move it back to about right here because it's a little too far away, but we'll, as I use it. So, the thing I wanted to show, take this little cap off here. What I wanted to show here is if you can see the square head on this, this is the one that came with the weed eater. And this is the one that came with my Troy built. As you can tell, they're the same, which is perfect because, like I said, the Husqvarna, um, they had like a star, uh, star pattern on their uh, attachments. And I need this, the square because, like I said, I've got these. I got the string trimmer, I got the hedge trimmer, the edger, the blade. I don't want to have to buy all these because these are, you know, the attachments at the time were about a hundred and some dollars a piece. And I bought them over the many years of using them. So this is going to be great because I'm going to use this, uh, this one with this, with this weed eater. And I wanted to show you the, uh, the thickness of the line that I use. It's probably hard to tell on camera, but, um, you can kind of see that this line is a little thicker. Uh, this is what comes with it, and this is what I've replaced. I think it's called Ugly Line, I believe. But this stuff is a lot thicker than this stuff, and it uh, lasts a lot longer, especially if, uh, you know, you run into some weeds, stubborn weeds, some of them little, like, tree things that grow up, and this stuff won't kill it, won't slice through it. This stuff will chip away at it long enough to where this will break, and this would not, you know. So, um, this requires 50 to 1. 50 to 1. It came with this uh, two-cycle engine oil, full synthetic, blah, blah, blah. 50 to 1 ratio. I use a 40 to 1 ratio um, on pretty much all my weed eaters. Most of them have been uh, 40 or even 50. So, if it becomes a problem with the 40 to 1, what I'll do is I will get some gas oil mix uh, that's 50 to 1. If it becomes a problem with the 40, I have not run into any issues running 40 to 1. Um, it's a little thicker for the engine. It might smoke a little bit more. The 50 to 1 is a little less. Um, so I am going to uh, put some gas in this thing, uh, hook it up to my, uh, weed eater, my old weed eater head, plug it in and put some gas in it and see how good it starts up well that was uh very uh painful i choked it this is press bulb you know 10x i did that move it to lever one which is on the choke start pull it a couple of times nothing happened so try it on two you know two you know, pull it a few times, <laughs> pulled it a bunch, put it on one or three, which is open, pulled it a couple of times, I uh, <laughs> pulled it, pulled it, pulled it, pulled it, pulled it, I mean, I'm about wore my fingers out right there, you know, um, so spray a little, break clean, just a little, just a little deuce in there is all I need to do, just a little puff. Put the choke back on, pulled it, pulled it, pulled it, turned it over, pulled it, pulled it, pulled it. Nothing. It just pulls and pulls and nothing happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the spark plug off if I can get this out of here. I don't think I can. They don't give you much room with these spark plugs, you know, getting them off. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of fuel, two-stroke, down the spark plug hole, put the spark plug back in, and give it a pull. Or a couple of, couple of pulls and see if it uh, fires off enough for it to run. Hopefully, I'm going to leave it on the two so it'll get half half air and half choke and put a little fuel in there and see what happens. So I have just a dribble, just a dribble of fuel. I'm just going to, not much because it's not going to need a lot. The plug... Looks fine. So I'm just going to put that in there. And snug it up. Just 
snug. It's aluminum head, so don't go torquing it like crazy. And this plug is uh, a pain in the butt to put on. I had to force it off until it snaps. So uh, we got a little fuel in there, got the plug back in. I'm going to leave it on, choke, and just give it a pull or two and just see what happens. I had to do it twice. A little tap full of gas. I had to get a little dribble, put it down in there. And it actually says to squeeze the throttle as you're starting it. I was not doing it, I was just pulling it. Which, you know, used to most normal weed eaters, you just pull the hand, you pump it, pull it, fires right up. I had to squeeze the handle three or four times, pull it at the same time. And then it finally started like sputtering, and then it started. And here it is gunning. Now I turned the idle up because it was a little cold. I just didn't want to, you know, let it die on me. So I'm just going to idle it down just a hair. Just see how it, see how it runs. And brand new, so hopefully I don't have to do anything else to this thing. Now my other weed eater, these adjustable jets, one's a high and one's a low, and they have a label on them, usually it's down here on the back side, and what I do is I take a Dremel tool, and I'll just put a slot in both of these, so then I can take a screwdriver and just adjust these as it gets older. Most of the time you don't have to mess with those, um, you don't have to mess with those at all. So sometimes, you know, the gas sits around or something and it gets a little harder to run or a little harder to start. So you might have to, um, <coughs> excuse me, so you might have to adjust those. But right now it's running. I'm going to put my uh, weed eater head on it and I've got a full tank of gas. I'm going to run it around and do some weed eating, just some normal stuff. No, no weeds or anything, just regular grass. And I'm just going to see how um, how long it runs and how good it does. So I will bring you back in just a little bit just to give you an update. Okay, well, I started 12 after the hour and it is 157. So I started at 112, 157. I was weed eating quite a bit. Um, the string head did really good. The, uh, uh, I had to stop it because I got some weeds wrapped around the head and I pulled it one time and it fired right up. So it's run out completely out of gas right now. And uh, it did really well. Uh, it's hot too. But uh, it did really well. It uh, cut a lot of the... Uh, I was cutting some thicker weeds too. I wasn't just cutting just grass because I've already weeded around the house and everything. And uh, just normal grass, but that did go in the back where I have a lot of weeds growing, and I did cut a bunch of those, and it did well. It really did. Um, it seemed like it has plenty of power for what I need. Now I haven't put the blade on, and the blade, the uh, blade attachment, it uh, it uh, requires more horsepower, but. Uh, so far, so good. This is um, 27 cc's, and my other one that I had, my Troy built, was a 25 cc, and I thought it was a 30 when I bought it, but it's actually a 25. So this is a little bit, just a hair bigger. And uh, the Husqvarna I was wanting was a 27 as well, and of course Husqvarna would probably be a better product than this, but the attachments uh, is what I wanted. Uh, even though, you know, Husqvarna was pretty close, a little bit more than this one. Uh, but uh, my final thoughts, impressive. It seems like it has enough power. And uh, I'm going to keep on weeding with it. So that's the uh, WS 2400 from Sears. I got it at Lowe's. Uh, they're, they do have them on Amazon, uh, I think. Amazon was a little more expensive because some of them didn't have free shipping. 
So when you factor in shipping and everything, and then waiting, because I needed this, this my weed eater's been down for like three weeks. So there's a lot of weed eating I had to do because I didn't have any other choice to, you know, around stuff. And it was growing really, really sick. So uh, I needed this. I didn't want to wait. Uh, I was working on my other weed eater trying to get it running. Uh, I couldn't get it running. I changed the carb out. Couldn't get that working. It ran for a little while, but didn't have any, like, grunt to it. So I just uh, went to Lowe's and bought this because of the attachments. That's the only reason why I bought the Sears. I would have got the Husqvarna, but the attachments is what I wanted because I've got a bunch of those, and I don't want to spend extra money for the Husqvarna brand because you know, well, as I do, they will be more expensive. It ran fine. I don't see any problem running 40 to 1 because I get the little oil mixed, and I mix it with a gallon of gas. Now, I could put a little bit more gas, you know, maybe a tenth of a, ga tenth of a gallon, in my gas can instead of just one gallon maybe 1.100 and try it with the 40 mix it might send it out make it 50 to 1 because the lower the ratio the more oil is in the gas so if it's 30 to 1 there's more oil than gas and if it's 80 to 1 there's less oil in the gas if that makes any sense to anybody so my review of this is really good it, it handles it didn't stutter didn't stumble once Cut it off, fired right up. I almost ran out of gas. There was a little bit left. I tilted it, pumped it one time, pulled the handle. Didn't give it gas, just pulled it, fired right up. It ran perfectly the whole time, never stumbled. I'm enjoying this thing. This thing is going to get a workout because I do a lot of weed eating, not only here at my house, but uh, friends, excuse me, friends' houses. They have a lot of wooded lots and stuff they want to weed eat back. And they're older and they can't do it themselves. So I volunteer my time and gas and everything. And they usually give me 20 bucks or something. But I don't do it for the money. I just do it to help people out. So so anyway, that's my review. I'm going to stop rambling on. I'm going to fill this thing up and get going again. But uh, thanks for watching. Hope this helps someone. Thanks.